fellow fans of Clash of Clans. Thank you so much for joining me. It is your host, Galadon. Today, we are talking about something that should not exist in Clash of Clans, yet does. And I am answering the, uh, how do I put this gently? The complaining comments, the, the whiners in my recent YouTube videos who say, Oh, Galadon, the attack you keep showing is not that strong. You're attacking weak bases, so here we go. Go. My very own fully maxed out Town Hall 16 with a base design that I got from rhbasebuilding.com, professional base builders, and my spam and ram strategy. Hit it, quit it, say you did it, spray and pray. Every single troop is already deployed, as you can see. Everybody's down in the exact same spots. And again, take a look at the base. Everything is upgraded as far as we can go. Of course, you cannot upgrade all of the walls yet. Not that it matters, as my root riders will, in short order, obliterate every single wall that could possibly stand in the way between this attack and three stars. As now, of course, yes, the spells go down with somewhat of a careful deployment. We are trying not to overlap them, trying to time them well to freeze key defenses, but it's really just rage and freeze, and it actually makes for a very appealing visual presentation uh, surrounding that beautiful Town Hall 16, purple rage everywhere, and yeah, there's really no other strategy here. Now, I did, and I'll show you at the end of the episode today, I did have to make a slight improvement to this attack, but right here is the last spell going down. You can see that final freeze just about to drop and the king and the queen did not even follow everybody else. They were way off here. Oh, he's looking good. I love that king of the north skin and the Tesla. That's kind of a cool little shot right there. But yeah, so they are off on their own. And that was the one tweak I needed to make to this attack in order to easily three star this base. And that is I'm going to hit the king and the queen abilities myself rather than wait for them to go off when their health gets down to nearly zero because as you can see right now they're at about 75 percent health hitting the ability now is going to work out pretty well for me and indeed it did and this with only a level 12 healer puppet for the archer queen and the warden's healing tome is at level 14 and i haven't done any upgrades to my royal champion gear now it is at this point in the attack where I left, I quit, I was done, I didn't have anything else to do. The Flame Flinger with a couple of the Yetis finish off the Town Hall. The Healers on the Archer Queen, that's great, cannot wait to see her Healer Puppet fully maxed out. And we just sit back and wait for the stars to come rolling in. And like I said the other night in a kick.com slash Galadon livestream, I don't think it's necessarily all that bad that you have a spam army that can win and occasionally pick up three stars. I don't think there's any argument right now that Town Hall 16 offense isn't strong enough or that defenses are too strong. Obviously, balance changes and upgrades are coming, so just enjoy it for now, and perhaps even those E-Dragon spammers can enjoy trying a ground attack for a change. So yes, this is definitely the easiest attack in all of Clash of Clans right now. Don't think that it's going to work very long. And also understand that those death ball bases where the town hall is in the core of the base often hold up pretty well against a spam attack where no funneling takes place whatsoever. And that kind of leads us to believe that as the advancement of anti-root rider bases develop, we will see it harder and harder naturally for this attack to win, and then the balancing will come in and make it even more difficult. And again, as I said in the beginning of the episode, I did need to make that tweak where I waited and used the hero abilities once their health started to drop, not at the beginning or at the end of the raid, and that made all of the difference. We immediately went from high two stars to non-stop three star wins, and when I say we, I, I, I mean me and the mouse in my pocket. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Share your feedback down below. I will read all of the comments as always. Thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of today's brief episode. I appreciate every single one of you and hope you get a chance to stop by a kick.com live stream to speak to me personally. Have a great, fantastic, amazing rest of the day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I hope to see all of you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Do you really appreciate
appreciate every single one, even that obnoxious kid in the corner there. Fine. <laughs>